Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be finding the sum of an infinite series. R is between negative 1 and 1, and we have the sum 1 plus 8R plus 27R squared plus 64R cubed, so on and so forth. So we have a sum that kind of looks like a geometric series, but the coefficients are not consecutive integers, they are perfect cubes. So we have 1 cubed, 2 cubed, 3 cubed, as coefficients, so on and so forth. So how are we going to handle this? So there's a couple of ways to look at this problem. The method that I'm going to use is going to involve some calculus. So here's what I'm going to do. I want to use r to the power k as my reference because that is used for the sum of a geometric series. And I want to get from this a term like k cubed times r to the power k minus 1. If you look at our terms carefully, for example, the second term for k equals 2 is going to give you exactly this form. 2 to the third power multiplied by r to the power 2 minus 1, which is r. Okay, so how do I get this one? How do I get this one from r to the power k? So here's a couple of things we're going to be doing um, back to back. First of all, I'm going to take r to the power k, and then I'm going to differentiate it. So I'm going to show that by using diff. Diff means differentiate. So let me go ahead and write it down here. And then I'm going to multiplying it by something. So let me go ahead and differentiate this first. r to the power k, if you differentiate it with respect to r, you're going to k times r to the power k minus 1. And then after differentiating, I'm going to be multiplying by r, and that's going to give me k r to the power k. Now the purpose of multiplying by r after differentiation is we want to get perfect powers, so we don't want to multiply k and k minus 1 because that's going to give us something like a factorial, but we want to get the power of k, that's why we do multiply by r after differentiating. So the next step is going to be differentiating again. So I'm going to differentiate this one. k multiplied by k is going to give me k squared. And that's going to be multiplied by r to the power k minus 1. So now I'm going to take this expression, k squared r to the power k minus 1. And I'm going to be multiplying it by r again. And that's going to give me k squared r to the power k. Now, remember, this is the term we're trying to get k cubed r to the power k minus 1, and I'm almost there. I'm at k squared, and I do have another k now. I can just go ahead and differentiate and get the k cubed. So the next step would be differentiation. In other words, we're taking turns differentiating and multiplying by r. When we differentiate this expression with respect to r, we're going to get k cubed and then r to the power k minus 1, and that gives us what we need. So here's what we need to do back to back then to get what we need. We need to differentiate the original expression and then multiply by r, differentiate, multiply by r, and then we have to differentiate. So we basically need to do three times differentiation and two times multiplication by r. Let me go ahead and write those down. So I'm going to differentiate, multiply by r, I'm going to differentiate, multiply by r, and then I'm going to differentiate again. Let's go ahead and apply this to our original expression and we'll see how that goes. And this is going to be my original, of course. Okay, so my original expression is going to look like this. 1 plus r plus r squared plus r cubed plus maybe, I can just write r to the fourth power as well. But as you know, this is our geometric series. So if you call that s, it's going to be 1 over 1 minus r. So this is equal to 1 over 1 minus r. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep track of every step and then I'm, I'll be using, applying those steps to the right hand side. So if you differentiate this, you're going to get 1 plus 2r plus 3r squared plus 4r cubed. And that is just going to continue. And then we're going to multiply by r. That's going to give me r plus 2r squared plus 3r cubed plus 12r squared. And then it'll just continue. And then we're going to be, actually this is supposed to be a 6, not a 2. I mean, not a 3, this is supposed to be 6r cubed. Okay, so now I got this expression, I'm supposed to, okay, oops, I messed up. Let me go ahead and fix it real quick. So I'm supposed to multiply by r, so if I do, I get r plus 2r squared plus 3r cubed plus 4r to the fourth power. 
There we go. Okay, now I'm going to be differentiating this because that's the next step. And I get 1 plus 4r plus 9r squared plus 16r cubed and so on and so forth. Notice that in a previous video we had the coefficients as perfect squares and this is where we get the perfect squares. Okay, now I'm going to multiply by r. That's going to give me r plus 4r squared, 9r cubed, and then 40. Why am I multiplying by? Okay, I'm just trying to differentiate and multiply by r at the same time. 16 r to the fourth power and so on and so forth. So the coefficients don't really change here much. But now we're going to differentiate this one more time. And this should do the trick because this is my last step. If you differentiate r, you get 1. This gives you 8 r. This gives you 27 r squared plus 64 r to the third power. By the way, 64 is 4 to the third power. So it fits the pattern. That's it. We got the answer. But right now, what we need to do is take our original expression and apply each one of these steps to that expression. So I'm going to be writing my original expression as s, which is the sum. And that's going to be 1 over 1 minus r. But what I want to do here is, to make it a little easier, I want to write this as 1 minus r to the power negative 1. So let's go ahead and uh, use s that way. And let's apply all these steps. So my first step is going to be differentiation, second step, third, fourth, and fifth. So I'm going to be applying five different steps to s, OK? starting by differentiation. So I'm going to differentiate s. That's going to give me s prime. And that's going to be negative 1 times 1 minus r to the power negative 2. As you know, this is equal to negative 1 over 1 minus r quantity squared. Easy. OK, the next step is going to be multiplying by r. So it's going to be giving me r times s prime. And when I multiply by r, it's just going to be the same expression with r in the front like this. And then I'm supposed to differentiate this, right? When I differentiate it, here's one thing you need to be careful about. Uh, r is like, a, uh, you know, not a constant here. So we're differentiating with respect to r. So if I differentiate this, I have to use product rule. But let me not do that. Just on, I just wanted to show you what this looks like. So now the next step is going to be, so I multiply by r, I'm going to differentiate it. If you differentiate this expression, how do you differentiate it? Well, it's going to be product rule anyway. So we're going to do the, pro um, the derivative of the first term, which is negative 1, multiply by the second term. And then you're going to get the derivative of the second one, which is uh, negative 2 times 1 minus r. And I'm going to reduce the power, multiply by the first term. So let's go ahead and simplify this a little bit. And then I'm going to apply my other steps. OK? So this was my original, this was the first step, and this was the second step, and this was the third step. And remember, we have to do five steps. Let's go ahead and simplify this. Uh, this should give me uh, negative 1 times 1 minus r to the second power plus 2r times 1 minus r to the power negative 3. Now, one of the things you can do here is, if you want, you can just go ahead and simplify this or just continue to differentiate. It's totally up to you, but I'm going to simplify this. Let's go ahead and write it this way and then this way. So I'm going to be making a common denominator. If I multiply by 1 minus r and write this one first, 2r, 2r minus 1 minus r. And then the common denominator is just going to be 1 minus r to the third power, right? So we're still doing the third step. We have two more steps. Let's remember that. OK, so this is going to be, when I simplify this, this is going to be 3r minus 1 divided by 1 minus r to the power 3. Now, I think we're ready to use our step number four. And remember, in step two, we multiply by r. Step three was differentiating. I have to multiply by r again. So if I do, I get 3r squared minus r divided by 1 minus r quantity cubed. And my fifth step should be differentiation. Let's go ahead and differentiate this using the quotient rule. The derivative of the numerator, which is 6r minus 1, multiply by the denominator minus the de derivative of the denominator, which is 3 times the quantity 1 minus r squared. And then I have to multiply by the derivative of the inside, which is the derivative of negative r, which is negative 1. So I'm just going to turn it into a positive, And then multiply by the top, which is 3r squared minus r. By the way, uh, we have to be careful here because in the quotient rule, you are supposed to subtract. But when you subtract, remember, you got a negative sign. That's why we made it a positive term here. OK, and all over. 1 minus r to the third power. Let's go ahead and simplify this. And that should be the answer at the end. 
because what we did was remember we got the original expression differentiate multiply by r differentiate multiply by r and then we differentiate it let's go ahead and keep track of what, everything we did here we differentiate it we multiply by r we differentiate it we multiply by r and then we differentiate it and this should be our final answer let's go ahead and simplify this well i noticed that one minus r squared can be factored out and then we should be getting something like 1 minus r times 6r minus 1 plus 3 times 3r squared minus r. And all over 1 minus r to the third power. Here we can just go ahead and take out two of these powers and then we'll end up with a 1 minus r. Let's distribute the numerator. That's going to give me 6r minus 1 minus 6r squared plus r plus 9r squared minus 3r divided by 1 minus r. And if you simplify this, you get 9r squared minus 6r squared, 3r squared here. And then we get 6r minus 3r, it's 3r plus 4 plus r is 4r. And then we've taken care of these. And finally, we got a negative 1 here. And that is multiplied, I mean divided by 1 minus r. Okay. Now, if you kind of take a look at this, uh, it kind of looks like 1 or negative 1 could be um, a root of this polynomial. If you go out and check those out, you're going to notice that it doesn't work that way, but that's okay. This is our sum pretty much in the simplest form. So what is that supposed to mean? We started off with the expression 1 plus 8r plus 20. I mean, this was our, this was the question. 64r cubed, let me add that as well. And we were trying to find the sum and we did, and it's supposed to equal 3r squared plus 4r minus 1 over 1 minus r. And this brings us to the end of this video. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.